But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, I was trying to delay my time because too much noise outside, but it looked like the kids will never stop, you know. Uh, people are desperate to find a reason, to, you know, maybe to have fun or something. And this is why uh, the firework will never stop. So I said to myself, let us hope. I don't know how much you can hear. Is there is is there is any sound of firework coming to you? I hope my microphone is not catching too much of uh, the noise outside. Uh, I was speaking to uh, a Muslim. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't speak really. I mean, uh, he uh, this person he uh, sent me an email. Uh, he said there is tons of websites. And they have a lot of good reasoning about why Islam is true. So how you respond to their reasoning? So I said to him, okay, you know what, just give me the, the, the name of the article. I don't open links sent to me by Muslims. Just give me the name of the article or any article and I will search online and I will, I will be happy, uh, you know, to, uh, to check it out and make a video for you. And I hope uh, he is here. I don't know if there's time now. It should be, should be the morning for him where he is um, uh, making a request from. So if we go in the internet, we will find, uh, as he said, there is many a uh, website uh, giving you reasoning about why Islam is a true. And uh, he said to me, as long as you don't open any link, obviously you don't trust anyone uh, to send you a link. Uh, you give me a link and I will say to you if it's okay, this one. You know, I find it like have the most uh, convincing. So he gave me this link. 10 reasons, or he gave me, uh, I gave him this link, sorry, and he agreed with it. 10 reasons uh, why Islam is a true religion. Uh, if you go down, you read, you see, it says that indeed the religion in the sight of Allah is Islam. <laughs> and actually, this is the first thing you will know that Islam is false. Uh, you know, if Allah, his religion is Islam, so why he called those who follow Jesus Nasara? <laughs> and why he called those who follow Moses Jews? <laughs> You know, if the deen, 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 you know, it translated as a word mean religion, uh, deen is like a, a supposed to like a, a way of uh, you live, you know, you live like, you know, like a way of life, let's say. Uh, so if the, if the religion of Allah is Islam, so how such a stupid God, he say that people who they are Christians and Jews and even Sabian, which worshiping stars, are going to go to heaven. 
You see, in order to have an accurate statement, uh, you have to say that only one who believe in Islam, not just in Allah, because remember the mushrikeen in the time of Muhammad, what the Muslim called the mushrikeen. In fact, the Muslims are the mushrikeen. Uh, in the time of Muhammad, they believe in Allah too. Okay, so look at this verse here. Now, you know, the Muslim translation is funny. Uh, you can change the translation, you will find different meaning and different Quran because Muslims are trying to cover up that it's a duct tape translation. Uh, rest assured uh, that whoever from among the Muslims or the Jews or the Christians or the Sabians believe in Allah in the last days. <laughs> so you see here it says, and the Muslims. Do you see it? And the Muslims. Therefore, the rest are not Muslims, obviously. This is why they are called Jews. And this is why they are called Nasara, which is not really Christian. Muhammad is a stupid. He didn't know the difference between Nasara and Christians. So uh, uh, the, first, the first statement in the website is a joke, is a stupid. And, you know, when we play our in, like intro and for the, our broadcast, we have Mimi Hijab with Borat. Mimi Hijab, he said to him, if this is a book made by other than Allah, which means God, supposedly, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. And this is a clear contradiction. Because if the religion only for Allah is the religion of those who they are Muslims, well, then he is calling them Jews, and obviously they are not Muslims. And he is calling Christians because they are not Muslims. And he is calling Muslim Muslims because they are Muslims. <laughs> so how the religion for in the sight of uh, the eyes of Allah only Islam, and then he says such a statement. Obviously, the one who made the Quran is very silly. He's bankrupt, and he do not know what he is saying. In the beginning of his life, Muhammad, he was weak. So he was trying to, like, you know, like, uh, in Arabic, uh, uh, you know, uh, like, there is some statement for, for the one who prays you in order to get you, you know? Like, yeah, we are friends, and you are, you know, we always follow you, you know, like, so he can give you what you, what he, what you want. Praise the guy, fool him, and get what you want, what you want from him. So Muhammad at that time, he was weak, he didn't have an army yet. So he made this statement that those who are the Christian, the Jews, does, does even the Sabian who worship stars, they will go to heaven. How does, how the Sabian, they end to be even in the category, if the Muslim, they claim, that they are Abrahamic. And in the same intro of our video, we heard the, the potato guy, the ketchup guy, saying that Muhammad is not Abrahamic and he was from a pagan tribe of Quraysh. He is not Abrahamic. He don't even know who is Gabriel. Then in, if we go down, I'm just reading the article. What I, I find it hilarious. It says here, <clears throat> many people around the world don't believe in God because of the lack of evidence. Some, when they are asked what kind of evidence would they like to say, uh, uh, will say miracle in the front of their face, which is a subjective experience and would actually be worst type of evidence as everyone would have the same subject experience as well. Here a Muslim trying to be a philosopher and saying, well, this is not right <clears throat> to ask for uh, to ask for uh, miracles, uh, because then everybody will ask for a miracle. And here I find it very, very funny and very stupid, because isn't it the Quran said that Allah He put conditions on the Jews that He will they should not accept any prophet unless He do a miracle. <laughs> and the miracle is is specifically that He will uh, He will uh, uh, He will sacrifice. Uh, a sacrifice, you know, and then Allah will send a fire. <clears throat> Let us see the, the verse. Allah will send the fire, and if Allah He send the fire and the fire consumed uh, the 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 sacrifice then this is a prophet from God. And this is in chapter 3, verse number 183. So look what the article is saying. It's very, in, in, in a way it's saying, it's impossible, it's stupid, it's silly to ask God to keep making miracles. 
But this God himself, he asked the Jews not to believe in anyone unless he gave a sacrifice and the God of the Jews, he sent down, uh, you know, uh, 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 fire to consume it. <clears throat> uh, you guys, don't change my topic. My topic is not about David Wood. The guy, he is adult. He do as he wish. You don't like what he do, just leave. He's not a kid. He do not need me. He do not need you to, you know, to tell him what to do. You, you open your channel and do better than him. He's free. Don't change my topic. If you change my topic, I will block you. Act maturely. And, you know, like, be mature. So look what, uh, what we have now. Allah, he said to the Jews that. And Muhammad did not die, deny that. Even the Quran did not deny it. The Jews said, Verily Allah has taken our promise not to believe in any messenger unless he bring to us an offering which the fire from heaven shall devour. Say, Verily, there come to you messengers before me with a clear sign and even what you speak of, which means it's true what they are asking for. So how you say it is not necessarily to have miracles and the Quran says that Allah, he put a conditions and he made them to take a promise not to believe in anyone unless he make such a practice, which mean it's a must to have such a practice. The guy, his name is Palestine is not welcome here. Change your name. You are not even Palestinian. Coward, hypocrite. This is what happened when you wash your face in the in the ass of other nations. Uh, the Jews they who said, "Verily, Allah has taken a promise." Is this promise is true? The Quran confirmed it. So how we can believe in Muhammad is if the beginning is wrong. He did not keep the promise which Allah he put to the Jews. Was Allah playing when he made the promise to come to be true? When Allah, he says, don't accept any prophet unless he do this. So how the stupid Muhammad, he don't want to do this. And he confirmed, yes, you know, Allah, he did that to you before. But then why he didn't do it now? He said, you did not believe, that's false. Name for me the messenger of God who did that according to the Quran and they did not believe in him. For sure it's not Jesus. <laughs> So the Quran is a stupid book and all, all the statement in this, and we did not even start the article and we are you know, laughing at the stupidity, how they are trying to prove to us that this is a book from God. And then he is reading for you, he continues saying, if we, uh, why do people don't believe? Re read the reason in the Quran, this is Quran. If we even, and even if we send, had sent down to them, the angels, with the message and the dead spoke to them we gathered together every uh, uh, i mean you see the muslims they have to add things here just to explain the quran because the quran is stupid uh, they add things between brackets because the quran is so clear you know you see how clear the quran to the point we need to add words between the bracket i mean this book is so clear to the point, if we don't have the bracket, the verse does not make any sense. Do you see how stupid it is? So, so the verse here is saying to them, uh, well, you know, uh, uh, even if we send to them uh, angels, and even if the dead one spoke, and even we gather people in the day of judgment, or all the, the creatures, they will not believe. But this is a stupid. So how people convert to Islam then? If this is the case, why you send Muhammad? <laughs> and the funny, this verse came speaking about people who Muhammad claimed they will not believe and later they became Muslims. Do you see how you expose a false prophet? Muhammad, he gave this verse to his people and those people will not believe. It doesn't matter what you do. Even if we send angels, they will not believe. And to make it more funny and more stupid, this religion, you know, came to, to, came to, uh, to, to say, uh, that Allah is the one who deceived them. 
Why do not believe? Because Allah had not visited. So how you are saying, even if we send, they will not believe, and if we find out that it is you, who deceived them? According to the Quran, <clears throat> the one who Allah deceives, nobody can guide him. And every single person in this earth is deceived by Allah. Actually, even Shaitan himself, the Quran confirmed he was deceived by Allah. As you know, we never say something without proof. Chapter 4, verse number 88 says, Are you going to guide those who Allah deceived them? It's in the front of you. The Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, he, he let, him, let him go astray. In Arabic, it says, Adal Allah. Adal, this is where the book of my, my book, The Deception of Allah. Adal, Yudlil. There's two words, Adallah, he deceived. Yudlil, he's deceiving now. Or he, you know, the, and the one he's deceived. So, the one who Allah he deceived, and the Muslim, they replace it with the word astray because it took nicer. But it, it means the same, you know, he led you astray. It means he deceived you from the correct way. Are you going to guide those who Allah led them astray? The one who Allah led them astray, you cannot find a guidance for them. What kind of religion is religion is? Shaitan himself was misguided by Allah. And this is why Shaitan, he said, because you misguided me, I'm going to misguide them. And this is again in the Quran. We can find that in chapter 7, verse number 16. We can find that in chapter 15, verse number 39. It's all over. Oh Lord, you led me in error. <laughs> Shaitan saying to Allah. And you see again, again the Muslim translation is very funny, and very, very aghwaitani, aghwa, aghwa. Uh, uh, you know, it means you led me, uh, you tempted me uh, to fool me, to deceive me, to do ugly, to be a criminal, to be a, a, a whore, uh, to be a, a child molester, to be, to be, to be, or whatever you, you can name all the, all the link article of evil. So Iblis saying, it is you, Allah, because you led me to be deceived, I am going to cause them to be deceived as you deceive me. Except those who, servant, who whom you have, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, not, this is false translation, not single you yourself, except the, the, the decent one, the true believers. Change the translator, you will find different translation right here. No, al mukhlisin is not except your chosen. There's nothing chosen in Islam. That's stupid. The only chosen in Islam in the Quran is the Jews. Uh, change the translator. Let us see different translator. Let us say Yusuf Ali. This is why if you don't speak Arabic, Muslim can fool you. See? Except the sincere. What a chosen one. What a chosen one. What a stupid what a stupid religion and how they can fabricate even the mean of the Quran. So he said to him, Illa ibadaka, except your uh, those who worship you, from them the sincere, from your servants, from your worshippers, the sincere one, Al Mukhlisin. Mukhlis in Arabic mean uh, you know loyal, the loyal one, the sincere one. Uh so, except those people, I cannot deceive them. He misled Muhammad and he gave him satanic verses, which means Muhammad is a bad person. And then even verse number 42 says, Allah, he said to Iblis, Shaitan, well, you know what, for over my servant, you have no authority except such the criminals. You see the translation here is, a, is a stupid. The same word in the top, we correct it. Al Gawin, it says the uh, except the the one the wrong follow. That's false. Al Gawin mean the one who follow the crimes, the evil doers. If you change the translator, look at this. I mean, it's a joke. We change the translator. Hmm. Yeah. 
we just change the translator. Change again. Change again. You will find a new Quran with every translator. For all of them, they do duct tape, you know. Look at this guy here. Except the one who follow thee. What about the, uh, the word Al-Gawin? The, the guy, he dropped the, the big word in the verse. He dropped it totally. Let us go to different translator, either, either scam. Look at this one. Here we have different thing. Look at this, finally. Certainly you shall have no authority over my slaves except those who follow ye, you. Al-Gawin. Now what Al-Gawin mean? All the, trans the previous translator, they drop it down. Those, they wrote it for you in Arabic, which is funny. And then between two brackets, they say, the polytheists and those who go astray, the criminals, the polytheists, the evildoers, etc. Which means everything wrong, everything bad is the word Gawin. So the Quran confirmed only the, the criminals, only those who they are evildoers, only those who they are polytheists, shaitan, he can mislead them. That's stupid. That means the Muslim who do bad and bad and ask for forgiveness, they were misled <laughs> by who? You know? But all the Muslim do bad. If, if Muhammad, Muhammad the Quran says, you know, Allah, he said to him, May Allah forgive your past and your sin to come. <laughs> Remember, we did not start reading the article yet. We are in the beginning. We are in the beginning. This is the Quran, and this is a chapter 48, verse number 2. It says, So may also that Allah may forgive your sin. And look at this, look at this translation. Forgive your shortcoming. What is that? Have you ever heard, guys, if somebody need to be forgiven for his shortcoming? What shortcoming? You change the translator, you will find it is sin shortcoming Muhammad was doing shortcoming what is that we just changed the translator bingo we have that Allah may forgive your sin but remember sin is from shaitan shaitan deceive you right but remember shaitan he cannot deceive anyone except al-gawin which mean the evil doers so Muhammad is an evil doer so do you see how stupid this religion is I mean, every statement is a stupid statement. It's a stupid, you know, it's, 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 it's stupid to the point. Uh, it's hilarious. Uh, so when the Muslims, the Mohammedan, they made an article, and this article is trying to give us reasoning to believe in, in Islam, we will find that none of them is really uh, true reasoning, or it is against the Quran itself. Look at this. No, number one, the Quran claimed to be the word of God. Okay. So is that the reason to believe that this is from God because the Quran claimed to be the word? I mean, do you see the logic? Do you see the logic? Why you should believe in Islam? Islam is true religion. But number one, the Quran claimed to be the word of God. Bingo. There's millions of religions they claim to be the word of God. And look what they choose for you from the whole Quran. Indeed, we have sent down, sent it down as an Arabic Quran that you might understand. I mean, this is alone is a proof that this is cannot be from God. Because if Islam is sent for all mankind, and it says, we send it to you in Arabic so you might understand. So how an idiot who doesn't speak Arabic, he is going to understand the Quran. Listen carefully, the Quran is saying, why we send it in Arabic? This is not my logic. I'm not the one who's making this up. The Quran is speaking. And this is their choice in the article. Why Allah, he sent the Quran in Arabic? He sent it in Arabic, so you might understand. But this is, can be fine if the Quran is supposed to send only to the Arab. How this is, will make sense if Islam sent for all mankind? Especially Arabic is very complicated language. It's very stupid language, actually, you know, and it's not even a language. It's a mix of collection of languages. 
This is what you see in the Quran, the word tabut, qurban, uh, uh, you know, ameen. I mean, all of those are, those are not Arabic. What does it have to do with the Arabic? Bustan, uh, all, all, all the garbage in the Quran have nothing to do with Arabic. So, inna anzalnahu Qur'anan arabiyya la'allukum taqilun. We send it to you in Arabic so you might understand how that work with you. Especially the guy who is talking to me, I'm not going to say where he's from, he don't know anything about Arabic. So, does it make sense to you that this God, he sent it in Arabic? So you might understand, and you are not an Arab. And not to forget to mention that even the Arab don't understand it. Because even the Quran itself says that there's a huge part of this book, nobody knows what it means, save Allah. <laughs> And why Muhammad, he made this verse? Because simply he is a thief. He did not try to read the book. He is just a thief. So he did not know what, what the author meant. He cannot answer it. So he said, there is a huge part of this book. Nobody knows what Allah meant, save Allah. Have you ever heard of a God? So look, we have a verse saying, we send it to you in Arabic, so you might understand. And now we have a verse saying, chapter 3, verse number 7. It says, you will not understand. But none knows the hiding meaning, save Allah. So now why we send the book in Arabic? We send it so you might understand. But none knows the, the hiding meaning, save Allah. <laughs> this is why you see the Muslims, when they try to explain a verse in the stupid Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, the end at the end is as like disclaimer, you know, for security, for safety, you know, because they wanna, because the Muslim, they can't go, you can, you can get killed in this religion, you know, so they add at the end, and Allah knows best. The reason they say that, because of this, no one knows the hiding message, save Allah. So if you claim that you know it, they will kill you. It's like watching the weather and news 20 years ago in Saudi Arabia, I don't know how it is now. You know, they will say, if Allah will, tomorrow, we might have some rain. If and only if Allah will. And by Allah will, the wind speed, it might be if Allah will, going to be 10 miles an hour. And if Allah will, the sun set around 6.30. Uh, he have to add the word if Allah will, otherwise he will end dead before he leave the studio. Because he claimed that he knew the future, and the Quran says, nobody know the future. So in order to protect ourselves from from being killed by the savage, we say, Allah knows best, and uh, if Allah will. Uh, <laughs> and here now, we see the same. So we send the Quran to you in Arabic, so you might understand, and then after we read it, Allah knows best what it's meant. And who is talking? The Arab. And who is saying that? The Allah himself, supposedly. And not only that, the, the, the funny is, it says that th those who seek knowledge, Huh? Those who seek knowledge, and look at the lie here. It says this is a fitna, but fitna is a, is a, is a trouble and deception, and uh, fitna can be everything. Fitna can be killing, fitna can be prostitution, fitna can be a fitna from fatana, like, you know, he was amazed by something wrong. Uh, and between two brackets, the polytheist and trials, but you know, the polytheists, they don't well, read the Quran, they don't, they don't follow the Quran anyway. So this is how you add the word, they add it there because Islam is a stupid. If the Quran is made for the Muslims, how that can be fitna for the polytheism? You see the stupidity? Here, and they add trial. So trial for the Muslims. Okay, so Allah, he sent you verses to follow them, and when you follow them, you will be in trial? So the Quran is not the book of guidance, the Quran is a book of fitna. The Quran is a book of stupidity. Remember, we are reading the reasoning number one. We did not even go to reasoning number two yet. You know? And look what it says here. In the same reasoning number one, uh, how come they cannot understand the Quran or deal with the Quran? If this is made by other than Allah, they will find a lot of contradiction. And this is the same verse, Mimi Hijab, he, he, he recite 
for Borat, and Borat said to him he was smarter from all uh, from Allah and his, his followers. He said, "Well, I have a phone book, <laughs> have zero contradiction. What does have to do? Who sent it by God? So here, this God he claimed that if this book is made by other than Allah, you will have a lot of contradiction. Well, we find a lot of contradiction. Everything is a contradiction. We just showed you. We send you the Quran in Arabic so you might understand." And then we find the Quran saying that you will not understand. And how we send you the Quran in Arabic to you know, to, so might understand, and Islam is a, uh, is an international language, uh, uh, supposedly international religion, sorry. That means the Arabic language cannot be good, especially it's a very difficult language. Uh, English is a way is easier. We cannot compare between the Arabic and the English. Shouldn't Allah send it in English? Especially, it's the most popular language. Don't Allah don't know the future. It's easy to learn. It's, it's easy in every way. And the majority of mankind speak this language. This is why we are here, actually. Everyone is coming from different destination. And yet, you understand what I'm saying. So, if this book is made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. Well, the whole Quran is a contradiction. All of it. If we check the Quran, which Allah, which one Allah created first? The trees, the mountains, or the stars? We will find chapter seventy nine says something, and chapter forty nine saying something else. Uh, If you go in the Quran, this is just an example. This is just an example. This is a chapter 79. And the Muslim, as usual, they try to duct tape and fix it. In this verse here, chapter 79, it says, Allah, he built the sky. Allah, he left up the sky, which is stupid to say. And then Allah, he made the day and the night. And then after that, he made the earth flat. And after that, he brought the water. And after that, he created the mountains. So the sky was finished totally in chapter 79. And the last thing Allah, he did is the mountains. Let us go to the front verse. Just to show you the stupidity of this book. Let's go to different verse first. Chapter 2, verse number 29, it says, It is he who created for you all in earth, and then he went to the sky and he made them seven skies. So, according to chapter 2, verse number 29, Allah, he finished everything in the earth. It says all. All. Do you see the word all? Not some, everything. The earth is done. It is he who created for you everything that in earth, all. And you see, if a Muslim, he says this is wrong translation, no, it's not. It says here, هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا all, Jamian, everything in this earth. And then he went to the sky and he started working in the sky and he made them seven heaven. So take a note, chapter 2, verse number 29, oppose chapter 79. Because according to 79, Allah, he finished the, the sky work first. He made the day and the night. And then after that, he made the earth flat. And after that, by the way, here it says, Some Muslim false translation says, he made it like in the shape of an egg. The word dahaha is flat. This is why even the Muslim translation says, he spread the earth. <laughs> the earth is flat. And then he brought the water, and then he put the mountains. So here the last thing is done is the mountains. In the other verse, everything on earth was done first, and then he went to the sky, and he started working in the sky, and made them seven. Not only that, the Quran says,
and you will find how silly this religion is. Actually, let us go. Chapter 41, I think I said chapter 42, right? Or 49, by mistake. It's chapter 41. Uh, if you go to chapter uh, 41, uh, it says here, Allah, he created the earth in two days. And then everything in the top of the earth in four days. And then he went to the sky and he made them uh, he made them seven sky and the sky was a smoke which means was nothing actually if you go to Ibn Kathir interpretation you will see that the smoke is coming from the earth because Allah before he go to the sky he was cooking the earth <laughs> so the smoke means nothing so based in chapter 41 Allah he finished what he finished everything in the earth and you will notice here there's a stupid numbers uh, then uh, two days plus four days and the Muslim they try to fix it they say no 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 the four days is included it cannot be included otherwise why he is saying in two days he created the earth in two days and then he created everything in the top of the earth in four days and then after that he created the sky that's mean already we are in the seventh day already we are in the seventh day and then the last thing here, you will see the last thing Allah He created is the lamps. It's in the front of your eyes. Chapter 41, verse number 12. But in the other of chapters, chapter 79, the last thing Allah He did, it was the mountains. So when the Quran put a condition, says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. And as you see, this is always a contradiction. And for sure, not to mention, there's millions. I mean, we are just uh, uh, going over a few of them, uh, trying not to make the, the video too long. How long we are talking now? 37 minutes. Uh, I'm trying not, you know, I'm trying to shorten my videos so people, they can watch them easier and they can uh, download them easier and they can, you know, share. So this article is a joke. And we did not even finish number one. And then it says, this book, Definitely, there is no doubt of it. Look how stupid this excuse is. So why Muhammad himself, he have adopted and he wanted to jump from the top of the high mountain? You say this to somebody is so sure. Look, Dhalik al-Kitab, and this is funny, by the way, uh, uh, because the word Dhalika, it says that book, but Allah did not even send the book yet. Isn't it the Muslim, they say the Prophet received verses. So where is, where is the book? This is why the Quran called the Christians the people of the book and the Jews, people of the book. But Muslims, they never be called the people of the book. Why? Because they never have a book. So this statement alone is a stupid because there's al kitab, but there's no book, this book, but there's no book. Where is the book? Allah did not give Muhammad a book and the Muslims, they start collecting the Quran after Muhammad's death. Why? Because the Quran says, Inna alayna jam'uhu wa Quranahu. It is on us to collect this book. To collect it. This is why the Muslims, they did not collect the Quran. Why? Because they said, well, Allah, he said, and you know, Allah, he, if he make a promise, uh, he will, you know, he will, he will, uh, he will keep his promise. So, jam'uhu wa Quranahu. And to be that the Quran is lost. Showing you that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. And actually, there's tons of hadith about how many uh, verses are missing and how a lot of uh, verses, nobody knows what are they, are gone. So when Allah he made a promise in the chapter of Al Qiyamah, verse number seventeen, saying, "Inna alayna jamahu wa Quranahu," it is on us to collect it. Well, this is a false promise. Allah never collected the Quran, and it was the Muslim after that, and everyone have different Quran, and this is why even the Muslims agree. Chapter seventy-five, sorry, uh, verse number seventeen. 
uh, this is why it's uh, the Muslim after that, the Caliphate, he burned the Qurans. If the Quran, all of them, they are the same, he will not burn them. There are too many Qurans, different Quran. So it was a false promise from a false God. For us to collect it, for us to recite it, Did he collect the Quran? He did not. The Quran is missing. So we can find tons of reference made by Muslims. Uh, and the Muslim, they cannot find them. Uh, let us see. Actually, why I need even to use hadith? I have a Quran, prove it. The, hadith, the Quran itself. Have you ever heard of a God? He sent the book. And then he made you forget the book. And what is the reason? Because he want to send you something similar or better. How stupid is that? Imagine you write a book. It can be, it can happen for a human. Like I wrote a book and then I discover some mistakes on it, let's say. And then I decide to correct myself. So I write, rewrite my book to fix issues. But this is God. How God can make better Quran than the Quran? What is the intelligence? You see, when you say better, that means the previous one is not good enough. Is that correct? Do we agree, people? If I say you are better than him, that means the other person is fine, but you are better. That means your quality is higher, correct? If we say this uh, car is better than this car, that means this car has features but better than the other car. So, but here we have a book, and this book is written by God. And the God, did he speak a good Arabic? What do you mean you are going to write a better book than your book? This is the most stupid, hilarious statement ever. For God, he is always perfect, and whatever he writes is going to be perfect. But using the word better is a proof of imperfection. Correct? Proof of imperfection. And look what the Muslims here. The Muslims are not worried about we are spanking their God. They are worried about what Jesus said. <laughs> All what we showed them, which is bringing shame for such a stupid religion. Look what the Abdul saying. When your Jesus said it is finished, did he lie? If he was resurrected, then he does not mean wasn't finished. This is a mark a mark of corrupt. You stupid, you idiot. The finishing is delivering the message and the finishing is about today. As I promise you, today they are going to crucify me. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, the Muslims are really uh, a hypocrite because the Quran says, and I will use the word finish with you. The Quran says, today I perfected your religion for you, choosing Islam for you, this day. <laughs> Which one is more hilarious? Jesus says it's finished because this mission to the cross is finished. Allah saying, today, I perfected your religion for you. Choosing Islam for you. Everything is perfect. And this is in chapter 5. In the beginning of the Quran, verse number seven, or oh, sorry, three. This day, I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam uh, as your religion. Do you see it? That means all the chapters came after is not from Allah. So I'm going with your logic. Jesus says it's finished, but Jesus is speaking about his crucifixion. 
his life in this earth uh, for the mission before the resurrection it's finished it's complete here we have a god who says to you today and he's speaking about certain times so you cannot say this is metaphorical this day i have perfected your religion for you that's it there's nothing to addition there's nothing more perfect than this that's it it's perfect and choosing islam for you completed my favor upon you and then allah keeps sending new verses and chapters so who is the stupid here abdul I advise you not to try to attack Christianity in my present because the refutation will hurt badly. Look what you did to your prophet. Now everybody is laughing. He made a verse. This verse, in order to be accurate, it have to be the last sentence in the Quran. It has to be the last sentence in the Quran. And not only that. Look, it's complete. Look, guys, look at the stupidity. Perfect does not mean complete, but you idiot, he used the two words. He used the word complete, too. <laughs> they don't read it from their eyes. They read it from a little hole down their belly. Guys, look what he just said. I'm telling you, the low IQ, anyone who believes this religion is suffering from low IQ. Perfect does not mean complete, you idiot. The verse says the two words. You see, Allah has decided to shut you up and show you how stupid you are. Today I perfected you, huh? You perfected your religion and complete. <laughs> so you said perfect does not mean complete. But your stupid God, he chose to say the two words together. What you will do now? Go and put a hijab, like me, me hijab, and let me know. Potato. So now look at this. This religion of stupidity, nothing there makes sense. Made by an idiot. And in order to believe in it, you have to be an idiot. A God who wanna give you a lot of women, each one of them, her vagina never been touched, which means never been effed. I mean, listen, this is obvious, false prophet. Have you ever heard of a prophet, of a God? He promised you a vagina and he described the vagina inside. He described that this is skin never been open, it still have walks in it. Isn't it, this is, this is, this is a stupid. <laughs> Uh, the Muslims are worried about Jesus, he said complete, but they are not worried about a, 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 a sex vendor, a pimp, you know? He is telling us uh, that those women, brother, the women I will give you in the heaven, brother, there is have a skin inside their vagina, okay? Do you see where the clitoris? Behind the clitoris, like the, you know, a few inches. There are two inches, maybe three inches. There, there is a skin, it's called humans. A science, brother. The brother, this one, nobody open it net, neither genie or a human, because the Muslim, they believe genie can have sex with their wives. That's why a Muslim guy, he have to say a certain prayer before he start boom, boom with his wife. Otherwise, shaitan, he will run himself around his penis. And yet they claim about, they speak about logic. This is the region of logic. And if you enter the bathroom without saying a certain words, shaitan, he will, he will play with your anus and he will go inside it too. And yet they speak about logic and they say it's logic and you know, to be have three, to have a three and one. I mean, look who is talking about logic. My friend, your logic is the same as the human inside the vagina. Very thin, extremely thin. And by the way, I hope that no genie and no human touch you yet. You know, we want to skip your version because your brain is still version two. What are you saying is not from the Quran? So what I'm showing the screen, look at this guy. This guy is a smarter. Gift, gifts keep coming. Brother and sister, what this guy is saying is not from the Quran. So what is the website in the front of me? <laughs> this is a smarter guy. It's an embarrassing, so they say it's not from the Quran. So what I'm showing you then, chapter 55, verse number 56. Hey, let's go. Brother, this is not from the Quran. Okay? Smart. Genius. It's not from the Quran. Coming from where? Are you saying to me, you Muslims, you add stuff, it's not there? What about you explain to me what the word yatmuthahunna mean? 
Go ahead. My friends, we will not uh, go along in the video. We are just trying to give our brother here. The, the, he is still until now a Muslim. I hope after he watches video. And we will continue in, in more videos. But as you see, this, this is not a religion. This is just an idiot of the village. He was successful. He overcome by the gang who joined him for the sake of money. And that's why he's promising vaginas and gold and silver and bracelet. Have you ever heard of God like this? He will, make, he will give you a bracelet. Have you ever heard of a God he promised you banana? Why? Because there's no banana in Saudi Arabia. So he's promising them fruit they never have. Have you ever heard of a God he promised by olive tree and the fig? Olive fruit? What's wrong with this God? This is really stupid. You know, who is going to wear a bracelet and he is a man? Who is the man really? He likes to wear a bracelet. Why? You want to look like a girl? Are you a girly? Muhammad? Why your God, he promised you bracelets? And you know, the funny is, one verse he says a uh, bracelet from gold, the other verse says a bracelet from silver. In chapter 67, verse number 21, Allah, he promised the Abdul a bracelet and some silver. 76, 21. In different chapter, 1831, he promised you bracelet from gold. Which one of them, the true one? And who care for wearing a bracelet? <laughs> I mean, and what is the value of gold and silver in heaven? What is the value of gold and silver in heaven? This is Shaitan. Sh you know, Satan, he tried to tempt you with gold and silver and sex. Isn't it obvious? A river of wine. You know, we will give you a river of wine. You want to be in a crazy way with wine? Here we go, river of wine. And not only that, just to show you how stupid the one who made the Quran. Have you ever heard of somebody mixing wine with ginger? Try it. Hmm? Why he want to mix wine with ginger? Well, those are Arab. They like ginger. They like ginger. So Muhammad, he says, oh, oh, they like ginger. We have to provide them ginger there. What the, bra what the problem with the bracelet? I don't know. I thought the bracelet is a sign of a slavery. If they are from steel and they are a sign of a greeting, if they are from gold and silver. Why you want to wear silver and, and gold in heaven? What is the value of gold and silver in heaven? Ask yourself if everything is for free. Who, who care for gold and silver? Your God, he promised you the floor will be from Zabarjad. What is that? That's stupid. And how you can live, by the way, inside the house, one brick of gold and one brick of silver, you will, you will hate it. I prefer a cabinet made from wood. It's way more nicer. Imagine your house, all of it made from metal. Imagine you paint. Now you can make your house from inside. You can go pay, buy paint, just to give you an example. Paint your house from inside by golden color. That's the most disgusting house ever. And to make it more ugly, this house now, all of it is made from gold and silver. So you are going to walk in metal. Is that comfortable? Is that nice? Your people are worshiping money. That's why you believe in God. Why must them believe in God? Believe in God because of two things. Penis, sex, and money. As simple as that. He will provide you with money. He will provide you with the food for your penises. And this is why your prophet, he promised you endless penis. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. What kind of, what kind of an ethic, what kind of a stupidity to say that your penis will be endless? I mean, your wife is next to you and your penis is passing the galaxy. What you will do now? Are you going to send her there so you can have sex with her? How stupid is that? So uh, not only that, he said, and a, and a vagina fit for that. So in order to have a, a you know endless penis, the women, she have to have an, a, an endless uh, vagina as a depth. And this is what Muhammad saying. So how wide your wife would be? How wide? How many thousand kilometers? 
what, what, this it's a stupid religion. So when the Muslim they try to say to you, they try to fool you, saying we worship one God. Who cares if you worship one God or not? You have one. You worship one idiot. If it's one or half, who care? He's an well, he's a he's a one idiot God. He's one stupid God. What kind of God? He said the sun set in murky water. What kind of God? He says the sperm coming from the backbone. My backbone hurt. My, uh, I cannot have a sperm no more now. What we can do? Your God, he think testicles is made for decoration. Maybe the wife she will hang them in the like in the in the balcony, you know, it's just for light. Maybe they make they make them a lamp. So when a, when a Muhammad he come to us with his logic and he say, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with that? Well, what's wrong with such a stir? There's nothing wrong with wrong. This is your logic. There's nothing wrong with wrong. A prophet, his wife is a baby. He advised his men to uh, to have sex with babies. And what's wrong with uh, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong because you don't dare to ask questions. <clears throat> What's wrong with having holies in Jannah? I will tell you what's wrong. First of all, if you are a person who believes in God, and if your God, if your God is a true holy God, He will not allow such a thing. When we see, even your, your even your Quran stole a story from the Bible says that God created Adam and Eve. Is that correct, guys? So God, he did not create Adam and hundreds of Eves. And that was heaven too. So why when you will go, if you want to go and go back to the heaven, then heaven have to be as it started. The maximum, one man, one woman. Why your God, he promised you all those women. That's mean there's no love, it's just lust. It's just sex. And this is why your prophet described that your penis will never go limp. So he promised you women you never met. And not only that, Allah, he promised you hookers. I wish he promised you women. He promised you women who they are taken from hell fire and they have nice desirable boobs and vaginas. Is that correct? Look what the, your prophet says. There is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will F him to a 72 wives. This is the, the lowest, by the way. This is not the, the, the big number. This is for a bad Muslim. From the Huris, two from the Huris, and 70 from the inheritance of the people of hell. Okay, what is the qualification of those women from hell? Why women from hell are taken out of from hell and bringing, they bring them to your house? Simply because they are hookers. Hookers, they have, you know, uh, you know, some women because they are so pretty. So they find that easy to use their beauty to make money and make living. This is why it's called prostitution. And this is why you will find that most of those who work in this business, they are really pretty, very good looking. So Allah, he decided to have a business, a deal with you. Do you want hookers? They are very good. They are very expert, brother. Huh? So I will import from hell. And here you ask yourself, what kind of God? He take women, just women, from hell. Obviously, they deserve to be hell in hell. Like, is, are they in hell for vacation? You will say no. Why people go to hell? Do they, if I ask you, do people go to the, the one who go to hell? Do Allah judge them perfectly and he send them because he deserve it? They will say yes right away. So that's mean they deserve to be there. Allah, he take them from hell. Why? For a qualification. What is their qualification? They have nice breast, a nice vagina. Do you see it? This is not my words. They have desirable front passages. And not only that, you're a prophet, he promised you that your penis will never go limp. I don't know if your penis is limp right now or not, but I'm sure your head is. You are in the limbo. So what kind of a prophet he promised such a, very, such a promise? Isn't it obvious that this guy is a pimp? Isn't it obvious this guy is a scam? A God who promised me women, he will import from the bar because they are good in, uh, 
And what is their qualification? Like, uh, is he bringing you women? They are decent. They are like, even you see, at least say beautiful. Say beautiful. He is saying desirable front passages. I mean, how far the stupidity is. And you will say to me, what's wrong with that? And you know what? I think because Muhammad, he suffered from limp one. So he is, he knew the problem. I mean, why he's mentioning it, why you will never go limp? What does that mean? Why Muhammad is thinking even about it? You see, you don't think about it unless you, you experience such a thing. Did it happen to Muhammad? He want to go to his wife and he, it, it was limp. They play the anthem, it doesn't work. They play music, the, the firework, 4th four, uh, four of July, still doesn't stand up, even for the anthem. So, and then Muhammad, he claimed that he uh, prayed for Allah, and then he sent him a dish of shish kebab, and he ate it, he got the power of 40, uh, of 40 men. So, what kind of a prophet is prophet? I mean, me, name for me one thing about him make, makes, makes sense. This guy, he have all the problems from his penis to his head. He lost his mind, he lost his penis, he cannot have kids. Look at this. Can your prophet have sex with his wife? The answer, no. The wife of Muhammad says, this is fabricated hadith. Well, you are a fabricated person too. Get out of here. So you see, guys, it's a fabricated hadith. The Muslim, they fabricate hadith about their prophet. That's a good one. That is additional reason to believe Islam is a scam because Islam is not only the Quran. The Muslim, they say, well, we have to obey Allah and the prophet. And Islam is hadith and the Quran. But if the Quran is missed, destroyed and the hadith according to them has a lot of fabrication so islam is a fabricated religion it's not a trustworthy thank you very much for saying that that we cannot trust anything the muslim they say to us about their religion never trust never take your source from islamic source this is what you just said to me i agree islam is a scam and now you feel very limp in your head and your <clears throat> Once the prophet was bewitched, look, we have a prophet, he was bewitched. I mean, should we add the list? The prophet is bewitched. How come I cannot bewitch? Bewitch me. Go ahead. You must then bewitch me. What's wrong with this guy? I mean, everything wrong about him. So the prophet was bewitched, and so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which he did not. Uh... Did I do it in the bathroom or in the balcony? Uh, I've, I'm not sure. Did I eat bread or I ate from the toilet seat? Not sure. Did I have sex with my wife or it was the neighbor? Huh? They are not hooker. Guys, they are not hooker. Okay, look look at this, look at this. This guy, he tried to fix it, he make it more blind. Look at this, this guy, he, he did fix it. He, he literally, he did fix it. Look, look how he fixed it, he said. They are not hookers, they are for marriage. Oh, there's no marriage, they are made for you to F them, what marriage? Did they choose to marry you? Like, did you meet them in somewhere and, you know, and you say you would like to marry you? No, they are important to F them. Stop lying to yourself. Secondly, you are saying to me, uh, the, uh, when you say they are not hookers, so why the Quran describe their front passages and why they are in hell? Why they are in hell? Give me the reason. And why the Quran saying all of them, they have desirable front passages? If why they are coming out of hell? Because they have nice breast and nice vagina. <laughs> and look what he says. Now, uh, they are for marriage. Plus, don't the Old Testament prophet had a polygamy marriage? Well, show me where God, he says to any prophet, go and have many wives. The Bible says, don't multiply your wives. And this is why God, he condemned even David for what he did. It's not God who says to him, you can't do that. He was disobeying God. 
And this is not about polygamous. Because here you are not marrying this woman. They are forced to be your sex slave. They are imported from imported from hell for very simple reason, because they have nice boobs and nice vaginas. Shall we go back to the hadith so we can read it again? What is what is their qualification? Is that because they are good women? No, obviously they are not. They are from hell. They are from hell. And why people go to hell? Because they are bad. And why they are going to be out of hell? The hadith mentioned the reason, for they have desirable front passages. So it's not because they are decent, it's not because they are nice, it's not because they are wonderful women, but because, as you see, it's not me who is giving you the reason. It's your prophet. Look like you Muslim, you are ashamed of what your prophet says and you don't want to see it. Whom will have desirable front passages? And this is why he mentioned your penis. Why he mentioned your penis? There's a connection. They have desirable front passages and your penis will never go limp. But I guess after my answer, the penis of our friend here, Khalid, uh, his penis is limp. He is in the limpo. And now he is worried about what will happen to his penis in heaven. Is it going to go limp? What if we go there and it's limp? How we can trust Muhammad promise? What if you go there and those women who they are so good in sex, they are ready and you are not? What you would do? Hmm? You are in trouble, brother. Yeah? Okay. And not to mention, by the way, according to the hadith too, that those 70, they have 70 maid, and the 70 maid, they have 70 maid, and the other maid, they have 70 assistants. All of them, you can F them. Man, that's a lot of 70. All right? Yeah, Amar Rabbi Aman. His penis be a Quran. So my friend, as you see, this is not a religion. Islam is just a stupid cult, sexual cult. You know, I see Islam is very close to the Hinduism, actually. Both of you are very sexual, you know. The black stone, it was a vagina. And uh, the Hindus, actually, this is where the black stone is coming. The Hindus, they have, you know, they, they have uh, the, the, the stone for for sex, the penis and the, and the vagina. And sex is part of their religion. And Islam is the same. You claim that you are not like them, but the fact you are taken from them. Half of your belief is taken from the Hindus. You are you believe in, in a reincarnation that you will be recreated again based on your deed and you will have a special penis. Your penis will not be the same. So when you have a good deed, your God will give you a penis will never go limp. All of you, you will become a penis. So the Hindu, they say, if you are a bad, you will become an insect. The Muslim, they say, if you are good, you will become a penis. The proof in front of you. It's a penis, penis cult. And I don't see any Muslim can answer us about anything. It's a very silly, stupid religion. I'm not going to keep you longer today. It's the 4th of July. You know, I... I uh, uh, 4th of July supposedly is the day of independence, but you see, I, I believe that a human being always he fought himself when he speak about independence, because the second we think that we are independent is the same second we feel or we, we are lost. Why? Because independent usually lead us to be away from God. A person, a human being, he's healthy, he thinks he's independent. A human being is worthy, he thinks he's independent. A human being, he do not need now a help from somebody, he thinks he's independent. But time will come and you will lose all your independence and you will be in need of God. So don't trust your independence because you cannot be really independent. I'm not talking about politics now, I'm talking about God. Muslims, they worship their God because of their penises. We worship our God, for He loves us. That's why we pray for Him, saying, Our Father art of heaven. Muslims, they believe that they are slaves. And because they are slaves, Allah will treat them like one. They are 
according to Allah, they are the law of the law. And the law of the law, they get the law, as you see, penis, vagina, etc. Promises go, depend in your promise who? When Jesus, he promised us, he promised us love, he promised us heaven. He said he and she, they will be the same as angels. Muhammad, he said he and she, they will be hookers. You see the difference? The tongue speak of who you are. That's why the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And as you see in the front of you, this is the fruit of Muhammad and this is the fruit of Islam. A penis who will not go limp. And women, they will be taken from hell because they are so good in boom boom. And they are simply, they have nice vagina and nice, etc. And look at this guy, Nabil. He keeps saying to us, there's no God but Allah and Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, we got it. That is a stupid statement because that proves that you Muslims are mushrikeen. You associate the name of your God with the name of a man. And actually, Muhammad all his life was a mushrik. And the first time he learned what the word oneness of God means, it was from a Jew. And we have the proof from your books. Muhammad always was a mushrik, never was a, be, a person who believed in the oneness of God. The, the proof in the front of us, here a Jewish man, he was walking by and uh, he said to Muhammad, and this is Sahih, this is repeated many places. He said to him, you are a mushrik. He said to who? To Muhammad. And to his followers, you are mushrikeen. You, uh, look at this. A Jew came to the Prophet and he said, You are setting up a rivals to Allah and associate other with him. You say whatever Allah wills and you will, and you say by the Kaaba. So the Prophet, he command them to do as the Jewish said, he said, if you want to swear by oath, <laughs> swear by the Lord of the Kaaba, not by the Kaaba. And if you say, say uh, uh, whatever Allah will, and then you will. A Jewish guy is showing Muhammad that he is not a person who believes in the oneness of God. Did Muhammad answer him and refute him? No. He took what the Jewish guy, he said, if this guy is a prophet of God, he should receive this message from God. His God should correct him. Not a Jewish guy walking by the street. What kind of a prophet he get correction about the most important thing in this religion? From a Jewish guy. As you see, he said to them, you associate other with him. This is not an easy accusation. Did Muhammad say you are wrong? No. Muhammad, he said to them, do as he said. He agreed. So why Allah? Allah was having time to send you a verse about the end and Solomon. Solomon, he saw the end. The end, she told the other end. Solomon have a flying carpet. Solomon, he, you know, he touched his, the, his, his, what the heck is that? And now a Jewish guy walking by, he is correcting a major belief of Islam. And until now you are mushrikeen. Until now you are mushrikeen. You associate the name of your God with the name of a man. His name is Muhammad. Yet you claim that you are a person who worship God alone, but in fact, you cannot even say the name of your God without saying the name of Muhammad. And you cannot say the name of Muhammad without adding tons of titles behind him because you are terrified from your limp to your pimp. My friend, Islam is a joke. And don't blame Muslims for leaving Islam after watching my videos. As you see, none of those people dare to debate me. And as you see, where is your cleric? Where is your sheikh? I invite all Muslim sheikhs, if they have the courage, if they have the knowledge, to stand up. And don't tell me we debate you only face to face. This is an excuse, so you will never have a debate. All of them, they want to debate me face to face. Everybody knows I don't go in the street. Why am I going to the street? Here we go. I got some time. I go live. I have six, seven hundred people. God is good. I don't go anywhere. I sit in my short. I have my tea in the front of me. I make Allah shish kebab and you can do nothing about it. And I challenge you to debate me face to face. This is an excuse because all of you Muslims, you go in the internet, you go in Zoom, you go in the TikTok, you go everywhere. You shake your ass in TikTok just to bring people to Allah.
What about you? Bring your sheikh to call me and let us see how shaky he is. As you see, they don't dare to debate us. I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope we have a good thing to learn. Don't forget to download the video. As you know, I don't keep my videos in my channel for long. And until we see you again soon, I hope the the brother who I want to call him brother, but because I, I have a feeling that he is going to leave Islam, him and his family. Uh, I hope he uh, was watching, and uh, if what we said is not convincing yet, well, I don't know what is going to be convincing for you. But for sure, the list of Islam being stupid is endless. You know, uh, not only God is being a pimp is a stupid. Not only is God he, you know, he, he says that Jesus is the same as Adam. He said, be and he was. And then we check the Quran, we find that neither Jesus, neither Adam was created by CMB. And then does God don't remember which one he created first? The mountains or the stars or the stars or the mountains? Does God, he says stupid things that women have a sperm, give him their ribs. Does God, he think that hell is coming from mountains in heaven? What about my refrigerator? He, he skipped that. I mean, have you ever heard of a God do not know where hell came from? What's wrong with this God? Let him watch the weather channel for one day and he will learn. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And Ante will see you soon again. Christ is Lord and Muhammad is a scam. We prove it every day. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him, 